Good morning, good morning. It's Jill EQ from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another pour today. Another little experiment um, that I'm trying today. So I'll bring you along, bring you guys along for the, for the ride. Hopefully it all turns out pretty well. So I've got my canvas, which is, I think this is a 45 by 55 or 40 by 50. I have put my um, masking tape on the back so it helps keep the back of your canvas nice and clean when you're painting. I've put my giant push pins in at the bottom. Um, hit, I hit them in with a hammer and then wiggle them out afterwards. So. You don't have to have any cups or anything there that it may, um, you know, fall off cups. So the giant push pins, uh, you can get these from most stationary places, I believe. Um, but I get them from our online supplier. Um, they're very cheap. I think there's 10 or more in a box. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, probably more than 10 looks like 10 or 12, 12 um, in a box. They're, they're very cheap, so you can order them online at Capriol Shabby Chic. If you're in the US, I believe, or Europe or England, you will get them from Stationery or Amazon. But um, Capriol have them uh, freshly in at the moment, so they have plenty if you want to order some. I always like to get about... Oh, six or eight, ten packs at a time because I go through so many canvases and those uh, in them. They do last quite a long time. As you can see, I've got a bucket load here that are filled with paint. So I have to get my, my granddaughter will come through and try and get some of the paint off some of them. But if they um, deteriorate, obviously they have to be thrown away but not until they're really bad but they last for a while so that's just a little thing going on here I am using today I'm using my oh lovely lovely Montmart Montmart acrylic studio acrylics nice thick creamy paints and I love them and I would not advise or use them all the time if I didn't actually love using them uh, I use obviously use other paints too, which I've showed you, but I do love these paints. I have done my normal pouring medium of the 7030. My description and how I mix and my recipes in the drop down box. I get lots and lots of people ask me the same question nearly every video because I think they haven't actually watched this video to where I'm directing them to get the information from. So I think if you can't, you know, just, just um, yeah, have a look for it in the drop down box, the information is there. I um, Okay, without further ado, do do. A little drink so my voice won't go. Okay, I'm gonna try a little something. I'm gonna try another thing. I'm not going to explain it, I don't think, because I'll just go, as I go along, I'll explain as I go. So it's kind of like the Dutch poury thing, I believe. So I'm going to try and use some of the white that I have pre-mixed in this container. Might need a little bit of water in it, actually. I might just put a bit of water in it because it's quite thick. So don't forget all your empty, all of your empty containers, try and reuse, especially things like this, because you can fill that up with pre-made paint and then you've got a nice squirty nozzle. So, um, and everything I'm using, the link is uh, in the drop down box in Australia for Capriol Shabby Chic and there's links there to the US. Um, and Amazon carries most things now for US, uh, UK and elsewhere. So, easy whizzy, let's get busy, let's get busy. 
I want to thank you guys for joining me. As usual, you are so been so kind and beautiful with your comments of late. I just can't thank you enough. You've been really kind and supportive to me and I've had so many new subscribers to my channel and I thank you all very, very much. Um, if you haven't subscribed and some people say, oh, they thought they were subscribed but they weren't, have, have a check and please subscribe because my channel is absolutely free. I don't seek anything from you guys, but it would be nice if you subscribed and give me a thumbs up and and the comments hid on my work, which lots and lots of you do. So I think one lady commented this week that she noticed that I've got lots of people that actually do comment to me and and that I try to get back to as most people as I can. I do try and read everything, and so I might not always put a comment back, but normally I do try. So as you see, I'm just doing this with this uh, paint scraper, this is. And I probably could have gone over it better and quicker with my fingers, which I normally do. So I don't know why I'm trying to do it the difficult way I see it. I think that still needs a bit of water in it because I'm going to be blowing it around the canvas. Okay. I'm told that this works better when you've got a thinner mix, so give it a go. Hey, give it a go. Got this little puppy under my feet trying to lie on my feet not anywhere else but on my feet now I want to do a different kind of thing with this I just have to double check I've got dogs laying here there and everywhere it's like they okay I'll just bring this because I've changed the angle of my canvas hope that it's all in there I think I have to try and invest in a tall um, tripody thing because, yeah, I can't seem to get, you know, high enough to get the whole thing in. But I'm going to try. Okay. Hey, be quiet, you little cheeky yeah. man. This is, no, she'll bite you. Hey, she'll bite you. He's teasing the um, German Shepherd. She's trying to sleep and he's saying, no way, you sleep in. Okay, so I'm going to do just one corner of this. So wish me luck, peeps. Okay. So that was the Montmartre Light Purple. This is the Montmartre Purple. <laughs> So, hey, hey, Benson, Benson, Thank you little sausage. Oh, so I've got another added distraction. <laughs> Not good, is it? Okay, this is the phalo blue. I hope what I've got in mind actually works, but you have to try these things and I'm putting you guys along on the ride with me, so we'll see how we go. This is a little bit of white on top. Oh no, 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 go back, go back. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of the cerulean blue, cerulean. You're a cheeky little man, for sure. Um, do I want to put, yeah, I might put a bit of the, is it? Yeah, turquoise, turquoise. What have you got now? Oh, no, it's chewing my, why it's my dryer. <sighs> I think I have to lock him out next time. 
Oh, puppy love, puppy love. Oh my goodness, you little monster. Hey, you are a little monster. Okay, right. The only thing that I've done different with the, I've, all of that paint was mixed up with my clear glue at the 70-30, 70% glue, 30% I had just warm water. This white I've made up with Floetrol, about 50-50 or may, maybe more Floetrol. I don't normally use Floetrol very much, but I just thought I will s try it on top of this to, to see what we get. If I get lots of um, lacing and I'm going to pour it around the edges too, where I want to blow it. So I'm going to do that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I've been resin resining and uh, I only had um, just a little mask on, not the respirator mask, which you all should do. But because I was trying to talk during the video, but I think I will have to learn how to do the voiceover, the voiceover method. So let's see how this goes. That's just the ordinary white. I'm going to use the little um, mini blower again. Have I got it plugged in? No. So the mini blower has just got a little USB port. I've got to keep all the wires away from this little man. Okay. Might not actually. This might be too big for the mini blower, but I'll give it a go. So I've got the world's smallest mini blower and I've got the nozzle on it. So I will give it a go. Uh, I'm going to blow. Okay. Just changing to my heat gun. 
It's all right, not going anywhere. You go to sleep, little trouble maker. Go to sleep. Just got the... Messy, another Santa vomited. Oh dear, so I did want to do this, so don't go crazy. I'm using the balloon, be warned. I may turn this around. So, oh, come here, be okay. What have I done? Okay. This obviously works better when you're blowing it out, uh, using paint that's just paint and water or paint and Floetrol. And of course, I had glue and I had silicone in it, but I still like the effects, but I wanted to do the Dutch pour and balloon kiss. So mixing the two styles and see how we go. So here we go, balloon kissing. People have asked me to explain this a little bit better. I know lots of people know it and have seen it and can do it, but I've had lots of people on the comments say, can you be a bit slower and actually show us what you're doing? Well, my preferred method is to grab the belly button, hold your balloon so you've got it nice in control. Um, this should be easy because the paint's not too thick. So first for your balloon kiss, just press it in and lift it back out. Now, if you're wanting to transfer that to another canvas, you can. Um, I'm not doing that today, so I'm just doing the, I'm just gonna follow it round in the same style that I've come round in, in my balloon kisses. See, there's not so much paint on here as, as I would have when I'm doing balloon kisses on a, a, a pour because you've got so much more paint under there to work with. So this is obviously going to come a lot delicate, more delicate. So, okay, let me... So you basically, all you're doing is cleaning off your balloon and kiss it. Keep pushing it down, basically. Push it down bring it back up let it form its own little life this like you can see there's not too much paint under there that so you've got to probably not balloon kiss the the same area again because you're lifting up all the paint off it but i just thought a balloon kiss or dutch pour and balloon kiss so a dutch kiss there you go, Dutch kiss. How about that? I'm sure somebody's done it before. But I just wanted to see if you combined the two, what we would get. So it's not a French kiss, it's a Dutch kiss. So I've got the whip. Whips, whipsby? Is that a is that a word? Whipsby? Shall I do some ah, gentle ones? Little oh, no, that's not. Didn't really happen there, did it? Okay. Well, don't worry about that. We'll pick up some colour from somewhere, and I will transfer it. But probably would be nice to leave it mostly 
a negative just with a little bit of colour would be, I suppose, cute. So there you go. I don't want to do this area because I like that that's there. But there's the a Dutch kiss. A Dutch kiss. There you go. So, people... Let's see your Dutch kisses. If you do the Dutch kisses, then um, let's see them on the Australian acrylic pouring group that we have, that's especially for you guys to post your work that you'd like me to see and others to see, or you would like help. There's lots of uh, really lovely group members that are helping one another beautifully there so it's not just for me and for me to saturate it with my art it's for you guys so if you haven't already joined there's a link underneath this video to join the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group by Jilly Cube and it's for worldwide not just Australian artists it's worldwide so what do you think of the Dutch Kiss these colours are coming beautiful now. They're... And it looked better that way to you guys. I'll give you a close-up. Tell me what you think of the Dutch kiss. I'll take a photograph of that little puppy. So cute lying there. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. It's pretty nice, I believe. I like it. I'm happy and that's all that it has to please is the artist doing the piece. You don't have to um, worry about anyone else. The only person you have to please is yourself. And the rules are, there are no rules, so it's just paint. If it turns out a mess, you just scrape it. It is only paint. No stressing whatsoever. So I will post photos on the end of this video so you will see what the dried product is uh, ended up like so thank you guys for joining me thanks so much uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so until next time bye for now